chapter 5. Amen. When I come here yesterday, and I don't know where, does anybody remember what yesterday was? Nineteen years yesterday, I've been here. And I want to say one thing about that 19 years. It's been up and down, but it's been a joy. Amen. I don't let things bother me like they used to. And I don't think Christians only let much bother them when the Lord told them over there, said, Fear not, little flock, for I'm always with you. What well, was it? At least 365 times in the Bible that says, Don't fear. That's pretty good, ain't it? Yes. Jesus said 365 times, fear not. Yes, right. Amen. I'm glad, thank you, honey. We need to, you know, uh, I got a birthday coming up, and I told the reason today is to forget my birthday. I'm not the young in the morning. I'm not crazy about some of the young and saying, your birthday comes, you're going to do this and do that. And, Ain't got time, so I just soon as not start a fuss and not have nothing to do with the birthday. Right. Uh, September the 5th, I'll be 76. And I hope I'm preaching one of 96. Uh, a lot of people talk about this, it's hurting me, and that hurting me. You want to ride my boat a while? I've had five surges uh, on my back, and I don't. Rita knows I get she about the mountains here and I come in here from the mountains for her. Jeff comes to the mountains and stays a while with us. But we know, I told Eddie outside, and I want to really thank this church. If you was here or if you wasn't here, y'all blessed it with uh, money and the help of what it needed. And I appreciate you folks for staying in my wife's place to stay and feed her while I was up there. I appreciate you. Give the Lord a hand. I appreciate it. Amen. <laughs> but in uh, 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, I'm not crazy. Look at it. Amen. I Bible says, brother, the time and the season, both brethren, you have no need that I write unto you. You know what Paul saying? You've been told about the word you've read over in First Little John in the beginning was the word, the word was with God, the word was God. Wasn't anything made that was made but by him. And all things were made by him. And he the thing about it is, Paul said, Ain't no need for me to jump down your throat and get all over you about something else. You've read it, you've heard it. Do you really believe in God? Come on now, you look at the same scripture. Amen. But the time and the season, brethren, that you have no need that I write unto you, because you've already read it. You've already heard it. Right. You've already should have believed it. Amen. And ain't no use for me to remind you, because he's still God. Amen. Lord, have mercy. That's nothing. Make a Yankee doodle jump on down. And the Bible says in verse 2, For yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as the thief <coughs> excuse me, in the night. Now I want to say this. Who is the thief but death? Come on now. Like oh, death, where is your victory? Where is the sin of death? You've read it there in 1 Corinthians 15, chapter 8, brother. Amen. But he said, Now, if you want to know perfectly that the day of the Lord cometh as a thief in the night, you say, What are you saying, preacher? Between now and morning, I might not be here Sunday. He might sneak in, sister, day and board in the house and pull your heart string and say, Welcome home. <laughs> And he said in verse 3, So when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them as travail upon a woman with child, 
and they shall not escape. You're not going to escape, brother, death. You're not going to escape the grave unless Jesus comes for them. I think in the day as I was a thinking, you know, and it, you say, well, work here don't pay you to think. Well, think with me then. Are you ready if he wants to come tonight? Think about it. Because when he comes, there ain't no time, April, to get ready. You say, preacher, ain't nobody. Oh, yes, they are. He said there'll be a coming a day when I, I'll call and you won't answer. You'll call and I won't answer. You'll ask, and you know, I'll be there. Here comes Spanky. <laughs> but ye brethren are not in darkness. Listen now. You say you're saved here tonight. If you're saved, you ain't in darkness. By God, you've come out of the dark and the night days of the devil and to the light of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 I'm glad. Thank God when uh, he said uh, to walk in the light as he was in the light. Amen. I'm going to tell you something, Tim Smith. The devil don't walk in light, does he? No, he don't. The devil ran in the darkness. But he said that you should overtake you as a thief. Now, I'm going to tell you something. I went to a, I'm going to just say it like this, I went to a, uh, has anybody ever been to a brush harbor? Yes. Yeah. I went to a brush harbor when I lived in Drexel in the 60s. And this young man was preaching, I'm telling you, he's preaching. And this fellow walked in and went to cry and he went on to the altar. And he got up and he said, I'm glad I come on down here tonight. I was fixing to fix me and my wife a sandwich, and I was going to shoot her and then shoot myself in the end. But said, God got a hold of him tonight. <laughs> Amen. I went over to Glen Alpin and run a state patrolman sitting there. I was a family and a dash and a hollering globally, globally, that got and two other preachers with it. And as I went through the past, that patrolman running a stop sign, he pulled me over. The next thing up there, Jim, you know they're going to do that, amen. He said, I got out and I said, Brother, I want you to know we've been up here tonight. And this old boy got saved. And he said, I've been so, ha I said, I've been so happy. I can't hardly stand it. I was young man, I run around around the car. He said, I told that other, he said, leave him alone. He's all right. But he looked at me and he said, I'll tell you something. You better stop saying sometimes. That's a good way to get killed. And he warned me. But God was with me. Well, what happened the next night, preacher, I'll put it together. Next night, here comes his wife. She said, I want what he got last night. Said he come home last night and said, the old cat laying up on the porch, arm there, and dog laying there, said he always kicked him, come off the porch. Said last night he come in, he hugged the dog and kissed him. Hugged the cat and kissed it. He said, Praise God, honey, God save me. And she said, I want that. And she got an older and made it right with God. Amen. Woo! Come on. Boy, don't they? They used to be power in the churches, in the tempings, or whatever it's at. They used to Amen. be power. As the Holy Ghost of God moved, the people couldn't move until they made it right with God. Amen. Well, glory, 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 glory. And the Bible says in verse 4, But ye brethren are not in darkness, that the day should overtake you as a thief. Lance, you're not. You're a preacher. You may be called of God, saved and washed in the blood. You're not supposed to be so easy to let the devil overtake me and you. Amen. Am I right? Amen. We're not in darkness no more. We're in the light. And you know what, preacher? What do you do? Tell old Satan, get behind me. Amen. Amen. I don't need your help. I don't need you. Satan, just leave me alone. Well, preacher, I can't do it. Yes, you will if you ever get saved. Because he'll aggravate the devil out of it. <laughs> Amen. Verse 5, ye are all the children of light and the children of the day. We are not the night, uh, of the night nor darkness. Why don't you look at it real good? You beat me 
get a stick tonight, you can knock me in the head with a ball bat, but you can't take away what I've got in my soul. Amen. 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 I was talking to this guy before we come over here, and I know he needs the Lord. I said, David, what happened to you? He had a walking stick tonight, and I know he was. And his wife sitting there, and I, I looked there, and I said, do you have any children? He said, yeah, we do. And he, I said, well, happy Mother's Day if I don't get to see you. Well, she said, I felt very light Sunday for my children for Mother's Day. I said, do it this time. It's a real day. And I said, David, I love you. I said, we're going to put you on a prayer list tonight. I've learned one thing, and I preached on Sunday, and I took a hold of that reader what I preached. I want to have compassion on those that need the Lord. Yes. Amen. Amen. We need to be compa passionate because we was once like them. We was once sat there in darkness. We was once sat there. I, I don't know about you, but my wife said I could cuss the whole sentence and even my daughter on the end of it. But that night God saved me. I ain't want you no more. Woo! If God ain't ever done nothing for you, and you don't feel like you got the Lord, you need to get up here in this altar and not stay there and say, Lord, it's me. Amen. Amen. I want you to save me tonight. I was going down the road here a few weeks ago, Brother T, and I started praying. I said, Lord, if I ain't saved, save me. <laughs> well, you are a preacher. You get up there and preach and you're not saved. I never said no sick saints. I want to make sure. Amen. You better make sure. Because there ain't nobody in here, it bugs me to watch this church when we make an altar call. Ain't half of them comes to the altar. And if you ain't got nothing to pray about, ain't something wrong with your tater patch. Because our world, our uh, uh, president and all that bunch of crap that they're doing all this meetings, we need to pray for them. God handle that situation. God take care of it. Stop the Lord from doing that evil to our country. Amen. Amen. I don't say the we forget God will what? Fall. Well, we get some good amen. Verse 6. Therefore, let us not sleep as do others, but let us watch and be drunk. Thank you. You know what he's talking about? He's talking about drinking liquor. These people drunk on this world. He's talking about us being sober minded and have a mind enough to not to know to do the things that we ought not to do. Amen. Brother Lance, I don't believe I preached this, but it's just a new table patch tonight. You just keep praying back there, brother. Verse 7, but they that sleep, sleep in the night, and they that be drunken are drunken in the night. You know an old drunk don't know what he's doing. Come on now. My dad is a bootlegger. An old man out from my house and he had stopped out at this old woman's house and sold liquor. And she busted his head and slid it over her long arm and shoved it. Old Mom for teaching, they'll work together. And we live just out front. Well, here come that old drunk out there and said, Jim, oh, I'm bleeding, baby. You fix this up here. I don't got to do that. And my daddy staggered around and got a shovel. This ain't no fairy tale. I was bad. Daddy reached in the far place and shoveled. A little shovel full of live coals and put it on his head and he burnt that thing. And he, as long as that man lived, there's a black streak of that there old coal out of our place in the But he comes from one drunk to another. If drunks will help one another, why can't we Christians help one another? Come on, amen. Come on, amen. Praise the Lord. That's enough to make him out of the Bible said, Let us who are of the day be sober. Putting on the breastplate of faith and love, and for a helmet, the hope of saying, Well, preacher, you reckon that? The Bible says you have the only hope in this world. You are men most miserable. Come on. I've got hope of eternal life. Amen. 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 God, like a lance of men, you get there and look at it and say, You boys, preacher, and or side, come on in. You're what I've made from the family of this world. Enjoy it. I made it for you. <laughs> hey, Louise, whoever you are, I made the way and you followed it. Thank God for you. 
Come on in and enjoy the blessings of God. Well, praise the name of God. Let us, who are of the day, I done read that, Thank you, honey. For God has not appointed us to wrath, but to obtain salvation by our Lord Jesus Christ. Somebody told me, he said, you know, we're believing Jesus only. I said, you don't believe but a third day. Amen. Hey, man, if you don't ask me, then you don't answer. Hey, that right there. You just believe the Father if you believe just on Jesus, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. That's what it's used to happen. <laughs> Amen. The Bible said, where did I get in? That who died for us, that was a week. Wake or sleep? We should live together with him. How many of you, I'm going to say, I want you to raise your hand, tell you, I'd like to say, if you're truthful and honest, please. How many of you, what you would need? You can raise your hand. Where do I get down telling you what I want you to raise your How many of you raise your hand to me that the same Jesus saved me, saved you? Amen. Amen.